Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and uh, yes, it's it, it's another kit bashing video. But this one is going to be slightly different to the usual kit bashing videos. Uh, but it's going to be quite similar to one that I did earlier this year. Now, what am I what am I blethering about? What I'm going to do is, rather than just show you what I've done, I'm going to talk you through um, what I want to achieve and the bits and pieces that I'm going to use um, to build this. So, what what's... What's my objective for this one? Now, what I want to do is build a, uh, a medic team for my uh, late war German bolt action army. This was inspired by a comment that was left earlier this week. Uh, a viewer left a comment saying that he was working on, uh, he works on bolt action dioramas. And he's going to be doing a German ambulance uh, diorama. And asked me what, what advice um, or what figure I would use as a German casualty. And my response was to use, there's a, um, there's a grenadier in the plastic box. Uh, he's running and he's wearing his out bomb. And I think by just by tipping him up and putting him on his back, I think that would make a quite a good, a quite a good casualty mark or quite a good casualty. Um, but this got me thinking. I've only got one medic for my bolt action Germans, and it's metal, and I'm not a massive fan of the model. So this would be a perfect example, a, a perfect time for me to build my own um, medic team. Now what I'm going to do is show you um, my USMC medic team. They may have seen this on the channel before, but I'm. I'm, I'm I'm aiming for something similar to this. So I think this works really well. It's it's very simple to put together. You can clearly tell it's a medic and it's a sort of mini diorama type thing. Um, and I was really, really happy with how this turned out. So this is gonna be my inspiration. Uh, what I'll be doing though is putting it on a bigger base. I'll be using a base this size and I'll be using my standard cork board for the floor and the walls uh, because I'm just that way inclined. So first of all, I'm going to start by going through the bits and pieces I've chosen to build a medic. Now, this, I was initially going to use this. Now, this is a plastic um, Falsam Jäger body from the, the, from the plastic box. I mean, he's kneeling down. It's German. Why wouldn't I be using this? Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to be using this. Now, this, <laughs> this is a body from the plastic USMC box. Now, I can hear people saying, stay, stay, mate. Um, you're building, you're building a German medic team. Uh, why in all the names on holy are you using a, a plastic marine? Well, a couple of reasons, but the main one being the pose. I really like this pose, and it's got that sort of, it's got, I don't know, it's got a medic type vibe to it. Um, I've also altered uh, plastic US marines in the past um, to make them fit into my uh, bolt action German army as crew for medium machine guns. Uh, I don't think this will be any of the any any diff, more difficult it's quite a generic looking uniform it's a shirt trousers the only thing that really sets it apart as being uh, american is the, that belt and the gaiters but i can do something about that i've done it in the past and i'm pretty sure i can do it again so that's going to be the basis for the the medic's body the arms are a bit more difficult um i went through several combinations from from several different different sets but what i plumped on was this one this is this is a left arm from the uh, the plastic Falschmiega box, and it's actually holding a like uh, an ammo bag or an ammo pouch for a um, Panzerfaust, I believe it is, um, or just a pouch in general. I'm, I'm, I'm to be fair, I'm really not sure what that's meant to be. Anyway, I'm going to be using as a <laughs> as a medic's bag because uh, I think it looks quite good. So that 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 fits really quite well under his arm, like so. Now the right arm was a, a bit more difficult because I couldn't find a, a Falschmiega one that would, that, would, that would match that. So, I've gone for this. Now this is a, a plastic SS arm. Now what you'll notice is that the arms are radically different. Um, so what, what the challenge will be, will be to amend them so they look, from three feet away, vaguely similar. Now I've, I've done this before on several kit bashes, so I think... I think I can remember how to do it, but it should be interesting to see how it turns out. So the two arms can be using, and then the head is just a standard grenadier head there. Again, you put that on the um, the US Marine body, throw a bit of German equipment on there. No one will be any the wiser. Well, unless, of course, they watch this video and see how I did it. Okay, so with the medic done, um, it was time for the casualty, because I want, like I said with this one, I want, um, I want a casualty figure on the base. Now, I did consider using the uh, the figure that I recommended uh, when I was responding to the comment. So I was looking through a bit, but I changed my mind, and I was looking through several several sprues, and I came across the um, the frame from the Opal Blitz with the with the, the, the crew that you, you sit at the back of the truck, and I found these legs. 
Now, obviously, he's, he, he's clearly meant to be sitting on a bench, right? But what I've found is if you if you angle it slightly, that could be a dude that's propping himself up against a wall. Which is what I'm going to do. That's going to be the basis for the for the casualty. Now, I did consider for the for the torso, um, just chopping a few a few plastic around ears in half, but I didn't have to because I'm um, going through another bits box. I found this. This is a torso. It's an American torso from the um, the plastic half track kit. Um, I might have to admit, I mean, there'd be a bit of amendments done to sort of make it more German looking. But what you'll notice is that goes together really pretty well. Now, once he's up like that, he's going to be leaning against a wall. That's going to that's going to work. Hopefully, anyway. For the arms, I've gone for a grandier arm for the the right arm. And what I've, I've bent the I've tried to bend the hand arm slightly so he's kind of gripping his torso. Um, I don't know how far I'll be able to do that, but that's the plan. And the left arm is, a, again, it's a Falschimiger arm, but with a, a hand missing. And then what I'm going to do, I haven't found an appropriate hand for that yet, because I want to see what the pose looks like before deciding what what position I want the hand to be in. And then for the head, I've chosen a another grandier head. If you can see that, he's, he's, he's shouting. He looks like he's specifically in pain. Well, he's a casualty model, so some, some, um, some rather painful tragedy has befallen him so I don't forgive him for looking like that okay so what I'm gonna do now is go away and build the um, the two uh, the two figures so that the medic and the casualty um, I'm gonna also build the base as well just to show you exactly what what I want to like and how he's gonna fit against that um, but that's gonna be the next part of the video so I'm gonna go away now make a cup of coffee get the green stuff the craft knives and the files out build these two and I'll be back very shortly to see to show you what I've done. So I shall see you all soon. And so that is the two figures finished. So what I'll do is I'll just very quickly show you <coughs> what I've been up to. So this is the completed medic um, figure. And the pieces went together really, really well, um, despite being from you know, three, four different kits. Um, as Warlord Games kits are very prone to doing. They're absolutely fantastic. Their versatility is just so, so cool. So what, what did I do? So it all went together really well. Let's concentrate on the simple part first. I found this um, piece of sort of equipment. Um, it's all one piece, but it's covered up that belt completely. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't really have to do a lot of, um, a lot of a, a converting or amending that belt. It's pretty much hidden, so that saved me a job. The arms, as you can tell, what I, what I did, I um, snipped the button off the cuff of the Fauschenberger arm. I removed the the bands on the arms of the SS arm where uh, camouflage is applied. And I've tried to get them a sort of a uniform cuff. Now, that excuse the uh, excuse the uh, the rather rough looking green stuff. It's still drying. Now once that's dry, I'll go in with a file and make it a lot more smooth than it actually actually is. And what I also did, I did it with the uh, with the gaiters as well. So I, mean, I can either use them as bigger boots or go back in and build them up and build up smaller, smaller German style gaiters on there. But again, the green stuff is still a bit rough, uh, but they will be fixed once the green stuff is fully, is fully dried. But I think, I think that's worked quite well. I mean, considering the, um, the body is not a German figure, I think it looks very much like a German medic. I think once his body's painted up, you won't know the difference. You really, like I say, unless you've seen this video, and you'll know that I used an American body. But that went quite well. Again, the green stuff's a bit a bit crude at the moment, but that will be um that'll be filed down and put into some proper shape. But that's the medic. Now onto the um onto the casualty. Now in the first part of the video I said I was using the legs from that uh, from the crew from the Opal Blitz. And this has worked really well. Look at that. Just no, no, no green stuff at all on this. All I did was because he's going to have his back to the wall. I just smoothed that down, so filed off all the um, all the, the American webbing that was on that and the belt as well, uh, just to make it a bit more smoother. Um, again, the head, get him, he's screaming, he's in pain. The right arm is from the uh, the ground ear box, and the, the left arm. So that that falsimir arm was looking for a hand. 
I was looking. I, I found that's from the um, from the plastic SS. Let me see that hand there. It's sort of spread out. Now, when this is attached to the base, that's going to be flat or flattish against the um, against the floor, like he's supporting himself. So I was quite fortunate that worked out as well as it did. But that is the casualty figure as well. That went together so easily. It was it was frightening. So there we have it. There's the um, there's the two of them together. One medic team from about five, I think it's about six or seven different different plastic kits. Um, but even even just posed like that, they, they work quite well. So when it when it's all based up, he's going to be he's going to be next to him. I don't know what he's pointing at. In fact, caption competition uh, <laughs> in the comments. In the comments below, what 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 is the medic saying, <laughs> saying to the casualty? That should be really pretty interesting. Um, but that's it. That's finished. So like, what I'm going to do next is wait for the green stuff to dry and really work on that next. Uh, decide what base I'm going to use, um, and get it painted. It shouldn't take that long to paint, so I might have that done for next week if I have the time. Right. Well, I hope you find find this latest kit bashing video helpful if you've got any comments or questions about this or gaming in general uh, just leave them down below in the comments section i'll sit respond to all comments and questions uh, but as always thanks for watching do take care may dice roll well and i'll catch you all in the next video so bye bye for now